What's up everyone? Welcome back to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We left off here last episode, uh, staring down the Arachne here, and yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do about it. Um, let's see, hold on here. So, boom, let's see, how fast are you? She is fast, so I could just slouch her to death, probably, I imagine. Um, but maybe I fire an arrow at her and see what happens. She can poison me, but I do have R poison, so I'm pretty confident that she's not just going to, like, kill me straight up. Now, there is a red bag close by, which is kind of annoying, um, and slouching would just take care of that. I don't want to get ensnared, mainly, but if I do get ensnared, I can just hop away. I can also blink away, which is now at a 5% failure chance. Can she see invis? I think she can't. Yeah, she can see invis, so going invis is probably not worth it right now. Um gonna say maybe I should turn on something to train but I think we're fine training these things okay so I'm gonna fire an arrow at her see what happens uh, we did a little bit of damage you know it might be smart to kill the red back first okay I'm just gonna I'm gonna fire out one slouch here there we go just to kill the other dudes and you're gonna smack me with your staff 30 damage plus our staff of poison um Am I okay with that? I see. I want to save my hop for if I get ensnared. Okay, she blinked away. Well, there's a hornet, which is kind of annoying. Okay, there's the ensnare. So I'm just going to hop away from the hornet. And maybe... Okay, you ensnared me again. Um, again, I can just blink. And she blinked as well. Now, the issue with moving here is... What I was talking about previously is... I just move so slowly that... Enemy monsters, especially fast ones. Uh, do I slouch again? I don't really want to get confused here. I could just random... Okay, the random blink didn't do crap. There's a there's a nice random blink. Can we just kill this hornet? There we go. Um, yeah, just keep blinking away from me. You can throw poison at me. That's fine. Oh, you, uh, you ens ensnared me. That's fine. I'll just blink away again. Just keep firing poison at me while I shoot you with my arrows. Die! All right, we got him. Yeah, she has a, a staff of poison. Oops, I don't want the staff. Of, okay, I'm full. Uh, yeah, I don't want the staff of poison. That was all that was there, right? Yep. Okay, so Arachne dead. She wasn't too scary. Uh, the R poison does help with that, and the blinks as well. Uh, the fact that I have random blinks it just lets me kind of nullify her little ensnare ability. Just blink away. Oh, well, I blinked into a spot, and I blinked into another spider net. Jeez, or web, I guess. That's what that's what random blinks get you. So random blinks are uh, they're based on your field of vision. So things you can see um, or areas you can see are where you can blink to. There's another ghost moth. You're gonna steal all my mana. I think that's fine. Let's just hop away here. Pew pew pew. All right. The warp spider. I definitely want to get that scarf and see. You can see, okay, that was an example. So you saw the orb right here, and then I moved down to here, and then the orb was over here. It's because it took me so long to move one spot that in that time the orb went all the way over here. That's why moving as a uh, Barachi of Che is so dangerous. I mean, I guess it's kind of not just Barachi, but Che in general, because Che slows you down so much. Uh, it's an entropy weaver. But there's not a lot here, so I can, yeah, I can probably just smack you to death with some arrows. Pearl ring. Okay, but we've got to drop some things. Am I ever going to use this robe? Uh, well, you know what? There was another cloak over there. Let's, mm, yeah, there was another cloak over there. I want to go check out and see what that is. We drop maybe the Wand of Enslavement. Uh, there's only four of them, and I don't think they're that good anyway. Uh, so let's finish exploring this area. This this vault should be cleared by now. Um, there might be some things wandering around on the floor. Oh, there's the rune. Um, so that's... Was that our first rune? Uh, I don't think Lair has a rune. Yeah, I think that was our first rune. Um, so we'll need three runes to actually, quote-unquote, beat the game. Um, <clears throat> or enter the area that allows us to. You know what? We can just drop this longbow. If we want a second longbow, we can come back and pick it up. If we find another brand weapon scroll, 
Um, I can come back and pick it up because it could be nice to have like my full again. What in the world? Well, I picked up. Okay, I have a lot of ID scrolls, so let me just ID Berserker Rage. Okay, I can't use that potion, um, so let's just drop the Berserker Rage potion. I mean, I could use it, but it would piss off my deity, so definitely not going to. Uh, so what do, what do we get? Protection from magic. So that's an MR ring. What's my MR currently? Two pips. So that might be useful. I don't think I need the protection from cold. I've got two pips on this ring, so we can drop that guy. And did I have another one? No. But we're going to need to go into the auto pickup and turn off. Okay, rings of ice we don't want. Rings of intelligence? Yeah, I probably don't want those. We probably don't want those or those. Uh, probably don't want any more of those either. Protection from cold, no. Protection from magic, I just picked one up, so I think that's fine. Rings of stealth, don't want that. Rings of strength, eh. I'll pick up a ring of strength, maybe. Yeah. Um, and then I also want to turn off and swans of enslavement. I don't want those. I could also turn off, and eh, the rest of it's fine, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we're good. So now I can grab this scarf. We can read an ID scroll and ID it. When we got a scarf of resistance. What? Bro, that's OP. So this gives me one pip of cold and fire. So now I have three pips of cold and one pip of fire. And that just makes this artifact cloak even more worthless. Because let's see here. Yeah, my armor. Wait, didn't I have another armor? Let me do a control F for artifact. So it'll bring up all the artifacts I have discovered. So here was the other robe I dropped. Resist cold, resist fire, resist negative energy, and negative stealth. Yeah, I think the robe I have on is probably never going to change. So with that in mind, I definitely don't need this cloak here because resist cold I max with my scarf. Or yeah. And the four evasion is like whatever. I would much rather have the uh, the resist fire on the cloak. Okay, well that gives us a pip of resist fire, which is really nice. I just explore, done exploring. All right, I'm gonna go hit this trap. Uh, so this is a little pressure plate here, which is gonna drop a bunch of spiders around me. And the only reason I'm gonna do it is because I want the experience. But before I do so, let me make sure I'm training everything I want. I mean. I kind of want to increase, well, let me see here. Don't I have Mephitic Cloud? Mephitic Cloud is a 10% failure chance. Uh, I was going to think, okay, one thing I want to do is I want to get rid of statue form. I'm not going to use that. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can really train here. Now, part of me wants to memorize Metabolic and Glacian just so I can start training on ice because Ozubuku's armor... Is something that I'll probably be using, and that's an ice, I think an, a charm, an ice and a charm. So if I could start training ice now, it'd be okay, but you know what, forget it. Um, so yeah, let's eat, and then let's walk under the pressure plate. Bunch of redbacks, I'm just going to slouch and kill them all. All right, so that's spider done. Um, I'll tell you one thing I'm going to do, actually, is grab this longbow. And we're going to drop it again, but I'm going to drop it somewhere else. So what is next? I guess we should finish dungeon. So I think I left off at dungeon 13. So let's travel there. Actually, did I clear the dungeon? Let me just drop the bow here. I may have already cleared dungeon. Um, oh, shift X, shift G, dungeon 15. Is that the end of it? Yeah, this is the last one. So I already cleared the dungeon. Um, well, where do I go next? I guess we could go to our other layer branches, which was swamp. I could I go to go to swamp, or I could go into Elven, the Elven Temple or Elven Halls. Elven Halls is nice for gear, but it doesn't give you a rune and. I'm pretty dang good on gear, honestly. I don't know that I need more gear. Although, you do get a lot of spells. There's a lot of spell books as well in the in the Elven Halls. And 
One thing I don't have is any of the spells that I actually want. But I think I'm just going to go to Swamp. Uh, Shift-G, Swamp, zero. Take me there. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, a bunch of... Oh, that's a Spectral Six-Headed Hydra. That is not nice. So... Hmm. And it drains. So if I kill the crab, all these this little summon will die. So I'm just gonna. I could step from time, but I'm just gonna slouch. I think. There we go. Because I don't want to get bit by that hydra. I think I might have to be a little bit careful in this area because there are some dangerous mobs. And I, if I, if my bow was more plus up, plus up, I'd be a little more inclined. To just kind of, oh, let me hop away here towards the entrance. I know that I want to slouch again. Well, that's a hydra. Okay, let's let's slouch, and then I'm gonna slow. Are we attacking the mangrove? So this guy can uh, constrict me. Yeah, he can grasping roots and constrict me, which means I can't move. But I can always random blink out of it. The problem is there's a Hydra on me. Do I just acid the Hydra, I think? There we go. And then we can just bow this guy down. There we go. So Wand of Acid is pretty dang strong. Uh, it, can, it can deal with Hydras rather quickly. And it doesn't hurt that I have like eight in evocable skills or eight evocations. All right, so I'm gonna do some auto exploring. This is a little dangerous, I think, but um, I'm also feeling pretty strong. I wish I had some more enchant weapon scrolls because, yeah, if I had like a plus nine bow, I would just mow everything down. Not that I'm not already, but you can imagine. Ba -ba -ba Shoot the mangrove. Um, little wisp things. Yeah, get them. All right. Oh, some more. Didn't take any damage there. That was actually kind of dangerous. There was quite a few things coming at me, and I was just spamming shoot. So I could have actually got bursted down, but... I mean, I do have a healthy amount of evasion at 30, so... It's going to be quite hard to actually bring me down. But it could definitely happen. Level two already. We got some oozes. Um, I might just bring these up. Okay, or I get pulled. Is this bad? Um, I can kind of hop away. I could have slouch as well. You know what? I could probably pop invisibility here. It's a thirty-six percent chance. I, I failed to use my ability. Okay, we're in viz, so I don't. But I am in water. I think I move here and now everything can't see me. So we can just start shooting. One other thing I could do is actually just hop over to this. Whoops. Okay, that was a mistake. Um, I actually pressed. I moved one too many times. My invis is about to wear off. All right. We got them. Easy. Hornet. Hornet no more. Yeah, we're just kind of stomping everything. Um, but I feel like that's going to be the death of me because I feel a little overconfident, just like I did in the spider nest. And then I quickly got overwhelmed like this. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm just going to slouch. Wait. Okay, we got him. Level 18. Um, so strength would give me more damage, but dex would give me more evasion. Hmm. What do I want? Strength or dex? I guess let's just go strength. Just give me the damages. Just give me the damages. 
I want more damages. We're going a glass cannon build. Which is probably not smart. Oh, there's another ghost crab. Okay, uh... Whoops. Okay, and there's a freaking dragon in front of the ghost crab. I don't really want to slouch again. I feel like my piety is getting quite low. Can I just invis? It can see invisible. Okay, so the hydras can see invisible. Can all the spectral things see invisible? Yeah, they can. Uh, so going to invis doesn't do anything for me. Now I could hop towards the crab and just try and shoot it. I think I'm... Well, there could be more things down here. I'm just going to do that. Wow, what the heck kind of hop was that? If we could just hit the crab. Okay, I'm just going to slouch. Things are getting too close to me. So, um, specifically the Hydra. I didn't want to deal with that Hydra in my face. Bite my face off. Ba -ba -boom. Pow, 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 pow. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> uh, what staff is this? A jeweled staff. Let's go ahead and put that on. That is an, a, a staff of cold. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and drop that. Put our bow back on. Yeah, the plus one bow of a lek is like, well, very nice. Don't get me wrong, but I really wish it was like plus four or five at this point. Uh, okay, we got pulled into water. This is actually kind of okay, because I think some of this stuff can't actually, well, it may not even be able to swim. Druid's Call, so you can actually summon stuff, so I kind of want to prioritize hitting you if I can. There we go. Um, did you actually buff everybody up? You did. Do I just slouch here? I mean, I could. Maybe I'll get pulled by this by the worm up to the top left there. So if I try to focus down this worm, which the dragon's going to get in my way. Uh, okay, I'm getting, I mean, there we go. I, I was hoping the worm up there would pull me, but it did not. So I'm going to go ahead and just hop back over here. And then we'll just fire missiles. I actually got poisoned. Uh, uh, this is fine. Everything else is... Well, maybe this is no longer fine. Let's just slow everything down. Why did you move? I could also probably try and go invis. I'm sure a lot of that stuff can't see invis. Pew, 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 pew. Should make a song out of just uh, pew, pews. Pew, 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 pew. One of you talented uh, musicians out there. Which is not me. Alligator. Dead. Oh. Okay, that's Roxanne. Um, so the scary thing here is that she can actually bring me to her with Blink Other. So. Eight squares or eight tiles. How far can I actually see? So I might be able to actually see eight tiles. Well, I guess... Hold on. And she can probably still pull me. So I was wondering if I could out actually outrange her, her blink ability, blink other. But I don't think I can. So if I get blinked into her... Yes, I can actually like hop away and like even if hops on cooldown, I can do random blinks and things, but there's no guarantee that that's safe. So what I'm going to do is just clear the rest of it first um, and then I can fight her. Now, where do I want to fight her is the question. Doesn't she have tons of AC? She actually has a lot of AC. I can straight up die here. You know what I could do? I could quaff a a, a a mite. So I'm getting a little bonus strength here, and that's just going to increase my damage slightly. So let's just go slowly. Could I slouch her? No, 
the important thing to note is that step from time will not work because she can't move. Um, so even if I just go away for a little bit, wait, can she see invis? She cannot see invis. So I should have popped invis before going in, but I'm going to try it right now. Okay, we're invis right now. So just trying to wear her down. A wand of acid could actually... I mean, she's almost dead. Okay, I got blink close. So I'm just going to hop away here. It's a really nice hop I got, by the way. All right, easy peasy. Can I butcher the worm corpse? Looks like I can. Uh, so we got, ooh, pass wall is pretty nice. Pass wall can let me uh, move through walls. So I'm actually going to learn pass wall right now. Oh, let me get rid of sandblast. We're not going to use that. And bolt of magma, I'm not going to use that. I don't think we're going to use rapid deconstruction either. So let me memorize pass wall. There we go. What's my failure chance? Ah, 13%. All right, nice. Um, although, hold on. The power is very low, so I'm not going to be able to go very far. So maybe I train a little transmutation. I do have plus one in it, so I don't mind doing that. Let's just get it to like two right now. Okay. Ba -bum. Some more alligators. Uh, we're at max piety again. Man, this Amulet of Faith is kind of broken. Oh, I should have actually. Oh, I got marked. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just go up the stairs and wait for the mark to wear off. And then I'm going to go to a different stair. Seven-headed Hydra, huh? Can I actually kill you before you kill me? Can't see invisible, so I could... A 36% chance is still... I'm going to go up. Will that actually follow me? It will. Okay, and I'm going to hop very far away. And I'm going to shoot it. Oh, I suppose I could have just blasted it, not dealt with all this stuff, but uh, it's Hydras are scary, man. You can just get one shot by Hydras. So it's better, better to play it safe. I say that, and then I just start pelting another one. Well, that... That one was kind of far away. So, what are these trees all enraged for? Um, I don't know, but I don't like being next to them. So, get me out of there. Whoa, they're all mad. Kill the spriggan thing and all the trees will settle down. There we go. Okay, that's a lot of hydras. And they're buffed up a little bit. And my hop is on cooldown. Do I try and go invis? Now, hydras aren't super fast. It swims extremely quickly. So I wonder if it's in water, if it'll actually take more damage from a slouch. Looks like it might have. Can I pop invisibility? No. Um, I'm just going to... Well, I, you know what? I have hop, actually. Take him back to the stairs. Well, that was probably one of the worst hops I've ever had. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, this was bad. I actually went upstairs. That was really stupid because they all, all, both Hydras had a chance to attack me, um, which is really bad. So I could step from time here. I would prefer not to, but I believe it or not, I could die very quickly here. So like step from time is a very smart thing to do right now. A random blink is not a smart thing to do right now. But I kind of want to random blink and save my piety. You know, I'm just going to play it safe. We're just going to step from time. Hydras are gone. I can rest. And then as the Hydras find me, I can just pelt them with arrows. So yeah, each Hydra head can bite for 18 damage. And there was like 9 there or something. So I could have easily died. Um, so I'm going to do, let's see, not control F, uh, shift X. And then I think control F. Yeah, control F to uh, basically unreveal the floor so I can find this Hydra. There we go. And then we'll do shift X, control U. Yeah, control U to unforget. Okay, so control F to forget the floor, control U to unforget the floor. 
That way if you bring something up and it wanders off. Oops, I needed to go down. If you bring something up and it wanders off, you can find it again. That way you don't do any like stair dancing and just pop up with a, a hydra right in your face. We don't really care about these poison clouds because we've got our poison. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's the swamp drakes or this. There's another hydra. I do have hop available, so we're just going to shoot it. I think the swamp dragons make confusing clouds like that. Um, but as long as you have our poison, it's got a very little. Holy cow. How many hydras are here? That's too many hydras. Um, I think we hop away here. I should really get on the stairs and take this hydra up. Um, and I'm just going to slow it. It's only one hydra, so I'm pretty confident just fighting it. Uh, I did want to slow it first, though. Do I go back to these stairs? Probably not. I'm going to check out a different stair here. Die, Hydra. Yeah, these Swamp Drakes aren't scary at all. Uh, they would be a little bit if I didn't have any R-Poison. But, ooh, that's a Thorn Hunter. But I think we can just pelt you down as well. Because we're super strong. I should have rested here. Okay. Hydras don't stand a chance unless there's like a billion of them. Then it's a little bit scary. Uh, that's the vault. Where's the entrance at? I think it's right here. So I'm just going to exit out till I explore the rest. Oh, that's a hydra right in front of me. I'm going to slow it and then hop away. That way it's going to have a really rough time getting to me. Man, this... The swamp is just chock full of hydras. Normally it'd be kind of scary if you're like a melee character, but being from range with the amount of blinks and things I have, it's uh, it's not too bad. Also, I have a lot of evasion, which helps. I suppose a melee character would probably have a lot of AC, which would also help. So, Alright, uh, well I guess everything kind of just walked out, so I didn't even need to mark that off. Well, there's our second rune. So, let's see, I think, where's the rune? The shift backslash? Nope, that's control backslash. I don't remember what the rune, there it is. Uh, shift bracket, shift right bracket. So there's my two runes, you can see all the possible runes here. I think there's 15 in total, but you only need three to actually uh, beat the game. Um, but that's swamp done so where do we go from here um vaults there's a rune in vaults i could go for i think we'll just do that what level am i actually i'm level 18. i feel like i might need some levels i don't want to go to slime pits slime pits is very scary so i usually just skip that but i'm gonna go to elven halls i think Let's go ahead and eat something before we fast travel here. That way we don't get interrupted on the journey. Wait, what was actually there? Hold on. Uh, swamp. What was it? Swamp 4? I just saw something that was like purple. There it is. Oh, it's a demon sword. A demon blade. Okay. Well, we're not going to use that, so I don't worry. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I do a control F here. Oops. Nope. Okay. That's fine. All right. Uh, let me just do a search for scroll. Make sure I didn't miss any enchant weapon. Oh, I actually have some enchant weapon scrolls. Derp. Let's see, where are they? Uh, two scrolls of enchant weapons. So we can go to plus three on our longbow of luck here. Very nice. A ring of wizardry. Um, we could possibly use that. We are getting very close to full inventory here, but it's fine. All right, so Elven Halls. Let's go ahead and jump down. That's a very warm welcome. Um, part of me just wants to slouch everything, which I think I will. Okay, that's that's enough. Uh, what's 
You have a 17% chance to banish me. I think I might want to put on the... I'm going to take you up. I might want to put on the MR ring I have here instead of the ring of protection. 17% isn't very high, but I'm still a little worried about it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put on the ring of... Uh, the ring of magic resist instead of the ring of protection. So my AC drops down quite a bit, but it gives me another pip MR. So good luck banishing me now. Um, banishment takes, it basically sends you to, um, I don't remember what the zone is called, but it sends you to this zone that is very scary. Um, I mean, I could probably survive with how strong this character is, but I wouldn't like to go there if I don't have to. I would like to just get my rune and maybe beat the game. Oddly enough, I haven't actually beaten this game yet. Well, I haven't, I haven't got the Orb of Zot and made it out of the dungeon. I, I haven't even gotten the Orb of Zot, actually, I should say. But I tend to just like try classes and enjoy that a little bit more. Anyway, uh, time is up for this episode. We did end up plussing our bow up to three uh, or plus three this episode, which is great. We finished Swamp. Uh, so I'm going to go into Elven and just get some EXP and things and hopefully get some better spells that I can actually use because currently... None of this is really that helpful. I mean, Mephetic Cloud and Passwall is kind of nice, but I haven't even ended up using those. I, I always forget about them, so perhaps I'll try to remember that next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment if you have any questions or anything like that. Thank you again, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.